All right. Good morning and welcome to the first day of the Inner Bliss Breath 21 Day Challenge. We're going to start by doing a set of breathing exercises that are going to irrigate the lungs and just overall condition the system to prepare to be able to um, go deeper in our practice. And I wanted to spend just a few minutes before that to connect with your inner highest self. your deepest truth and just breathe into that Satchitananda, Om Satchitananda, Om Satchitananda, Shanti, 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 Om. And this morning we will be accompanied by the geometry of the rose, which is going to be useful in our visualizations. This rose uh, represents the opening of the heart and the divine feminine within. So a lot of breath work is about balancing the channels within. There's three major nadis, channels in, in pranayama practice. Those are the ida, the i the Pingala and the Sushunna. The, the masculine and feminine rise on either side of the Sushunna, which is the central channel. And these are very important for any kind of spiritual development. So, Divine Feminine within. We invite and welcome Divine Feminine within to flow through our feminine channels and just purify, clear, harmonize and balance all our feminine channels, qualities, feeling that loving Divine Mother warm kundalini shakti energy and I would also like to honor divine father divine mother love you now if you're not familiar with mula banda it would be really great to um, practice some of that right now just for anyone who's not familiar. So Mula Mandha is a contraction of the pelvic floor. Just contract all the muscles in the pelvic floor. Um, we're gonna do five contractions right now in a row, but we're gonna hold each contraction for three seconds. On, ready? And contract, hold. One, two, three. Release. Contract, hold. One, two, three. Release. Contract and hold, one, two, three. Release. Contract and hold, one, two, three. Release. Okay, so that alone can start to activate these uh, energies. And as you are breathing, if you can do that on the in-breath and let and release on the exhale, that's recommended, and if you can contract again during the breath retention parts, which is when we hold our breath. But I will be reminding you. Okay, having said all that, 
we're gonna start with what's called base breathing. It's the first fundamental breath. And it's basically just a yogic deep inhale where you, you kind of breathe into the lungs, but then you squeeze down with the diaphragm and you're pushing the air down into the belly. So it's just like this. Hold and squeeze, push the air down and exhale. Squeeze your diaphragm, squeeze the abdomen and push down. As, and then do the Mula Bandha if you can, contract. And exhale, release everything. We'll do three more of these. Okay, now we're going to add an addition to this. So with your right hand, make this, uh, actually no, it's like, <laughs> make this mudra. And we're going to block the left nostril first. As we block the, the sorry, the right nostril first and open the left nostril. So exhale completely through your left. And then we'll do an inhale. Hold. Then switch to the right. So using the ring finger, block the left channel, the left nostril, and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold and do the base breathing, the contraction, and exhale through the left. We're combining the first breath with the second breath. Inhale through the left. Hold, contract, switch nostrils, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Hold. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Hold. So to the right.
we'll do three more rounds. Let's make the last ones deep. And when you do your next inhale, hold for at least 30 seconds or however long you can comfortably. Hold and contract. Relax and keep holding. Pulse the Mulabanda while holding if you can. And before it gets too much, just exhale. Now breathe normally. Those are the first two breaths. The base breathing and the second breath is called alternate nostril breathing. We want to combine those breaths. And we will be using those continually throughout the 21 day challenge. This third breath we'll also be using throughout the 21 day challenge. And it's known as the fire breath here in the West. Um, Kali Bhakti is it the Sanskrit name for it and with this breath it's good to do whatever rhythm um, you find comfortable but since we're doing it as a group I'm gonna lead with a not too fast of a rhythm today uh, unless you guys all want to do it faster in which case I we can do that you know just let me know <clears throat> okay so this breath is basically, if you're, not, if you're not familiar, you're gonna be exhaling. With the exhale, the, the belly comes in like this. It's like. And the inhale is automatic. So it's a forceful breath out. Um, these first two breaths are all about relaxing and sort of irrigating the system, calming irrigating the system and, and coherence so that